Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing my silk press routine. I'm gonna be trying a few different things out today instead of using my normal products. And I'm gonna try a few different techniques as well. So in today's video, I'm gonna be trying out two new products. They're from John Frieda. So this is the John Frieda Frizz Ease All-in-One Original Serum. This claims to tame frizz, protects from heat and humidity and adds shine. And it's for medium to thick hair as well. It's got argan, coconut and moringa oil in it. So I don't necessarily like to add oils in my routines anymore. I did used to back in the day and I didn't really care about having like flowy, you know, results. I just want my hair straight, dead straight. <laughs> and the only way that I could really achieve that was to put an oil in my hair. But I'm not trying to do that these days. So yeah, I'm gonna try out the serum instead. It's supposed to give like a lightweight feel but still have the results of like using an oil. So I'm gonna try that. And then I have this product as well. It's a John Frieda Vibrant Shine 3-in-1 Shine Spray. It gives glossy shine. It offers the tangling and heat protection as well. And it's silicone free. So I'm probably gonna be using both of these before I blow dry. So I'm gonna put them in my blow dry instead. Am I gonna use a heat protector? Because they both offer heat protection. So do I need to add more heat protectant? Mm. Well, this one says it protects up to 200 degrees, so I'm probably going to use a heat protectant as well, just to be just to be safe. Infused with argan, coconut, and moringa oils, this multitasking original serum tames frizz, protects against heat, repels humidity, hydrates, and adds shine. It is versatile enough to be used on wet and dry hair, so you can work it into any step of your styling routine. Expertly formulated for medium to thick hair types. They do have one for thinner hair types and for thicker hair types as well because my density isn't as thick as it used to be i went for the medium to thick hair because i can no longer put myself in the thick hair category so yeah let's get this routine started i'm going to start by pre pruning my hair because i also do wash my hair differently i don't use conditioner in my routine anymore so i'm going to use conditioner to pre poo here we go we've got one section at the back ready to go this is just water i'm going to saturate my hair i actually really do like this conditioner though yeah, it's really nice so i'm starting by finger detangling my hair before i go in with the brush breaking up any big knots and then raking it through i'm just going to take my brush now easy peasy look at that Done. I'm going to twist it up now so it doesn't get tangled again. And as you can see, the density is shocking. But I'm not fretting too much because I have bigger fish to fry at the moment. And there's not much I can do about it. I'm taking very good care of my hair as usual. So I'm just going to have to be patient and wait for it to grow back out to get the fullness back. So yeah. Once I'm done and click. All done. This is how much hair came out for my pre pre routine. I'm gonna go in the shower now. I'm gonna do my shampoo routine and I'm gonna be trying out this blue one, the anti dandruff one this time. So, yeah, let's go. For the shampoo step, I made a reel for a brand using one of their shampoo bars. I used it to clarify my hair and I used my scalp brush on my roots and I raked the shampoo through my hair. My hair was left really nice and clean. Next, I'm going in with the Care Care Anti Dandruff Moisturising Shampoo, and I just shampooed my hair all over again. This shampoo gave my scalp a nice tingling sensation, you know, like how tea tree does, and it felt so good on my hair. And I did actually notice that my hair didn't flake much at all as the weeks went by. So if you do struggle with dry scalp, maybe try this shampoo out. Once I'm done shampooing, I go ahead and apply the Care Care Intensive Restorative Mask. I just applied it all over my hair and yes, the wide tooth comb has entered the chat. I started using my wide tooth comb again because I didn't want to overbrush my hair. So I'm just raking a wide tooth comb through my hair just to distribute the product all over my hair. Once I'm done, I just go ahead and twist my hair up and put my shower cap on. And then I put my microfiber towel over top just so it can lock in as much heat as possible because I'm not going to add heat to this routine. I'm trying to keep it short and sweet. <laughs> Right, so I deconditioned for about 45 minutes and then I washed it out and I've had this on for about 10 minutes and yeah, I'm just going to take it down. So this is what my hair is looking like. 
it's nice and soft ready for blow drying let's go with the serum see how it goes start off with two pumps just apply that to each side yeah it says apply one pump but when it's quite long so i'm gonna add three <laughs> feels quite good giving me like a slippy feeling. I think I'm gonna decide to put some leave-in conditioner after all. Three pumps of that as well. Just cause my hair's really dry and it really does need help. <laughs> Add another pump for the ends. Yeah, it feels much better. So now that's all done, I'm gonna section my hair off. Now I'm going in with this John Frieda Vibrant Shine 3-in-1 Shine Spray. And I'm just spritzing that all over the section. And then I'm going in with some heat protectant just to add an extra layer of heat protector. I'm using the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Heat Protectant Spray. Just because I was a bit concerned about whether those two products on its own would provide me with the ultimate heat protection. Now I've got all the products in my hair. I'm going in with my Revlon One Step Styler and Dryer Brush. And I'm starting from the ends to the roots. I'm using dry on level one all over until it's fully dry. And I'm going in with smaller sections on level two. I have a video up on my channel of this part of the routine where I compare this hair dryer to a standard hair dryer and paddle brush. So if you want to see that video, I'll leave the link for it in the description box below. Low. So as you can see on this side I'm using a normal hair dryer and a paddle brush and I'm just blow drying it in the same way on low heat all over on one section. Then I'm going in smaller sections using level two. And then once I'm all done I go over my hair on cool just to make sure my hair is nice and cool before I start straightening. Yes, that shot was so good, I had to use it again. <laughs> so yeah, that's all done. And I'm just gonna tie up my hair because I'm gonna take a little break, get something to eat and then come back and do the straightening. And I don't want any moisture to really get away. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna wrap it up. I'm back and I'm full, my belly is full, so I'm ready to get this straightening done. My boyfriend cooked lasagna and it was delicious, so. so I'm gonna work on one section at a time. And today I'm going back to my GHDs, just because I wanna see if they can give me a good result with my new products. Because I did feel like they were getting a bit old and it wasn't working as well as they was in the beginning. So I just wanna try them out again today, see if I get a good result. And I'm gonna be doing one side using a fine tooth comb and one side using the Den Men Thermo Ceramic Brush. I'm going to part off my hair sections. I'm doing three sections on each side and I'm clipping them out of the way. Brush it through. And you turn these on. They still work, fabulous. Right, so I'm gonna try and work in small sections smaller sections because obviously this is not the wide plates so i'm just gonna part off small sections once again i do have a separate video where i compare using the fine tooth comb compared to the denman straightening brush so if you like to see that video i will link it in the description box below as well looking good so far super super lightweight look Maybe this fan was a good idea. So I'm straightening my hair row by row, doing a few quick passes at the roots, and then doing one slow, steady pass all the way down to my ends. It's really nice and wispy. And I just repeat the same steps over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> Single strand knots are not trying to make me be great. Can't wait to chop them off, you see? Guys. Mm. No. <laughs> wow. Okay. See you, John Frieda. The GHDs, they're supposed to have like, I think it's like 180 degrees it goes up to. Something like that. It's definitely not higher than what I would usually use. The front section, because it is thinner and a different texture, I don't need to do a long pass at all. Definitely don't want to get heat damage on this section of my hair either. It's already loose in texture, naturally. <laughs> A 
side down. Yeah, so on this side, I'm going to be using the Thermo Ceramic Brush. So I'm just put it in now. My hair needs a good trim. Look at that. Thick to thin, like what? I've never seen my hair like this before. Strange. Can't wait to trim my hair, man. That hurt. Honestly, guys, if you saw the amount of single strand knots I had in my hair, the woman was too stunned to speak. <laughs> there was too much to count in one little section. Put it that way. Look at that grey hair. So many of them now. They're long ones as well. Like, is my black hair just turning grey? I don't think that's how it works. I think it starts to grow grey, doesn't it? Or does it just immediately lose its melanin i have no idea you can probably see them in my hair straight oh no i'm gonna just straighten around the perimeter again not a long pass just a quick one Because it is a little bit too airy fairy. I don't like it like this. I really don't like it. My hair's like this. I'm going to just add a little bit more serum to each side. Oh, that was so much better. Okay, now we're talking. Same thing for the other side. I'm just going to silk wrap it now. I should really trim it first, but I don't have time because my son's coming home now. So I'm going to do the silk wrap now so I don't make noise when he comes back. Right, so for the silk wrap, I'm just going to wrap my hair, put some clean film on it, and then use a hooded dryer on cool for 10 minutes. His hair is so lightweight, look at that. Just blowing in the wind. <laughs> Anyways, let's wrap. Let's see if it's true that I can only wrap my hair because it was greasy, according to some people on online. I have a few tutorials on my channel on how I wrap my hair if you're interested and um, some people have found them quite useful so I will leave the link for those in the description box as well hmm. I guess somebody lied <laughs> uh, now to get my swimming brush got it <laughs> I'm gonna put some cling film on it. It don't move. <laughs> it still don't move. <laughs> Stop it. Anyways. So I've got my soft hood attached to my hair dryer already. I'm just gonna put it on. So I'm gonna put it on the cool setting. Low heat, low speed. Here we go. Oh. Plug it in. Set a timer. Hey Siri, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, counting down. Ooh, tangled. So I'm just going to take it down now. Instead of cool, I put it on the lowest heat. I didn't want cool. I wanted low heat. I'm going to swell it off now. Get it and just it caught my lip gloss. Oh. Ooh, definitely heel care than I've ever got it before. And even still, like I don't like that it's so airy fairy. So that's what it looks like without silk and seal. But I think I'm just gonna add a little bit because I don't like the way. It's just flying around everywhere. It's purely preference, you don't have to. But I just like a little bit of a weighing down feeling. It looks much better. Yeah, that's how I like it. So yes guys, that's the end of the video. I really do like the new products I tried. Gave me a really good result. I'm hoping tomorrow <laughs> my hair's not gonna be as light and airy. And it's just settled down a bit because 
it's too much. This is too, you know, I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm gonna trim my hair as well. I'm gonna probably trim like that much off. If I can show you the back quickly before the battery dies. That's what it looks like at the back. So yeah, if you enjoyed the content, don't forget to give it a great big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see any more videos from me. My straight to curly routine will be up in a few weeks time. But yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!